here at VMworld 2019 in San Francisco and we're visiting with the Zadara booth. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at VMworld? Thank you, happy to do it. We're Zadara Storage, we're an enterprise storage as a service. And what that means, for those of you that don't know, is that we offer enterprise capabilities, enterprise storage capabilities in a cloud model. Now this cloud model can be delivered on-prem, can be delivered to your colo, or cloud, public cloud adjacent. So you make no sacrifices in terms of the storage that you need to bring for whatever workload you might be running and wherever you might be running it. Any data type, any protocol, any location. And so how do you work with VMware and how do you fit into the ecosystem? We're, we're a VMware Technology Alliance partner and uh, we complement them in many ways. I know that your viewers would like to see a little bit more in-depth uh, view of how we work with them, and for that I'd like to introduce our CEO, Nelson Nahum. So what are you going to show us? Uh, I, I will show you why Zadara is unique. <laughs> okay. One of the uh, best kept secret we have is our uh, architecture for software-defined storage that make us a product that, and service that is unique in the market that nobody has, and this is why we have some, such a good traction with enterprises and service providers. So what do you have behind here? Yeah, so one of, one, one of the things that make us very unique is our architecture. So we, we recognize from the beginning that in order to provide storage services and as a service model, you need a multi-tenant storage and scalable storage system. On the other hand, we wanted to provide the enterprise class capabilities and reliability and security. So we need to do a great job of separating the tenant between them. That is very unique, the way that we do multi-tenancy. If you look at the, the slide here, you can see how our cloud is built. Our cloud is built by multiple servers. You can see with each one with their own drive, their own CPU, their own memory, and this cloud can be as, as small as few servers all the way to hundreds of, of, of storage servers, what we call storage nodes. What every customer or every workload we create a different BPSA. BPSA stands for Virtual Private Storage Array. So you can see, for example, the green user created a BPSA of four drives, and and it has different cores and, and drives than the blue user that has a BPSA of uh, ten drives. And and then you can see uh, object storage user that have uh, other a different BPSA. So. We use multi-tenancy because it's needed for the as-a-service model, but every tenant has their own drives, their own cores and memory, their own networking, and in this way we can provide multiple, uh, not only multiple customers, also multiple workloads. So we can have a, a workload of uh, flash storage, NVMe, block storage, uh, lowest latency possible for a database, and at the same time, in the same cloud, we can have a user doing a NAS workloads or, or file workloads and archiving using object, and they will not interfere one to each other. Each one has his own environment, each one has his own control, and this is why it is uh, our software-defined technology is very good for the as-a-service business, because you can have all these different VPSAs in one environment and create it on the fly, and they will not interfere one to each other in terms of performance, security, and manageability of each customer. If you had a uh, crystal ball and you could predict the future, where do you see the uh, future of the industry going over the next 12 months? It's a fun question to answer for a couple of reasons. First of all, we think we have a, a strong handle on where the, where the industry is going, but more importantly, from our customer's point of view, we relieve them of the need to answer that question because no matter what the future holds, they know their storage through Zadara is going to be there to support them. We take that risk off the table, in other words, thanks to the fact that we're a cloud model and you can go up, you can go down, you can switch. We have on-demand uh, swap of hardware uh, as you need it. So if you decide one storage medium is working better for you than another, uh, you decide that you'd like to move to a different location. When you're working with Zadara, the future is whatever you need it to be and whenever you need it to be. So that's the answer to the customer. For us, we see hybrid cloud as being really where it's at, and we're finding that we're in an interesting time right now where a lot of people are trying to define what their requirements are. 
And we spend a lot of time working with customers to do that, and it's interesting to see how it plays out. In all cases, no matter what you're trying to accomplish with hybrid, no matter how much you want to be on-prem or perhaps uh, move to the cloud, um, you're going to need to have flexibility, and that's what we can provide. Well, thank you for taking the time to speak with VM Blog. Thank you.